Kendall, Niku, Seru, No, oh, I hit the wrong one. Hey! There we go. So, hold on. Bazinga! There we go. No! Seru, give me your rain. You don't need it. I want your rain. I don't know. Oh, I gotta. I forgot. I gotta. I must lower have the... dozed off. Jeez, this storm is really picking up. Uh huh. Give me a second here. Oh, ta -ta -ta, ta -ta, ta -ta, I forgot. You know, I did do this. I guess it's just a loud ass game. I wish I, I mean, the character has booba, yeah. I don't have booba in real life, though. I don't have access to any booba. One of my favorite jackets. I love it almost as much as the sweater I'm wearing right now. So yeah, I got a key to the, for this uh, a while ago. Uh, and I played a bit of it on stream when I first got it. Uh, and I liked it. But I haven't beaten it. Uh, but I do. I like should check it. the radio for an update on the storm. Uh huh. Hey, give me that door. I don't want to check no radio. Fuck you. All right, so we're just starting the game. So the story so far is it's raining and we woke up. Uh, this is emergency broadcast. This is not a test. Country Sleepy Woods Mountain has issued severe lightning storm warning and is suggesting residents stay inside. National Weather Institute is saying it is a Category 2 storm with sustained winds ranging from 74 to 80. I'm really hungry. Some eggs and toast sound good. And some coffee to wake me up. Can you hear me now? God damn it. Alright, fucking goddamn mic. I must have accidentally hit the, uh, the, the button on the top of the mic, which mutes, which pisses me off. Uh, anyways, no, I did not finish, uh, tea loop part one. Uh, I got to Billstown. And that's it. And I had to take, uh, the thingy. No, I don't have a Wave 3, I have the one that Greedy has, I forgot the name of it. Because it was like a cheap $20-ish mic. Need a frying pan first. Forgot the name of it. Put some butter on the pan. I would like to get a, uh, a, 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 a fancier mic or whatever. Yeah, that's part of the reason why I got it, because it was like... I had previously had a Blue Yeti, and I liked it enough, but I wasn't... 
you know, it's, it was a more expensive mic, and I was like, hey, Greedy, what's your mic? Because you said it's cheap. And she was like, oh, yeah, here it is. And I was like, cool. And I bought it. Need a plate. <gasps> Give me that plate. Neat. Uh, so I forgot to, or I, I don't know if I was muted, but did you check uh, to see if Outlast works? Need a spatula, huh? Niku? Picked up bread. Where's my toaster? <gasps> There's my toaster. No, I want to cook the. I want to cook. Oh, I can't cook it. And you have Left for Dead. Sarah wants to get a Left for Dead game going at some point soon. You don't have Left for Dead. That's... Alright, I'll make sure to get it for you next time. When, whenever we're gonna do it. Not now, because it's not on sale. I mean, it's only ten bucks, but still. Oh yeah, it usually goes on sale uh, pretty cheaply, quite often, because it's a Valve game. And Valve don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck, Holmes. Wait, is there... Journal. Does that say my objective? I don't have anything, Journal. Okay, cool. <clears throat> oh, it's fine. You'll get used to it after a while. All you gotta do is run around like a D-Gen and shoot shit. Non-stop. Cover art I painted for the book Tornado of Souls, written by J.L. Stein. Yeah, it, it's 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 real easy to to get a grasp on Snor. There is a witch. Whoa. Welcome back, Stacy. Select one of the following options. Notice cone. Yeah, all you gotta do is just run and shoot. It's pretty good. It's pretty easy. Oh yeah, also this game is set in the 80s. Cause Snore loves the 80s. Isn't that right, Snore, man? Definitely pouring. I shouldn't go outside unless I need to. Don't need to go down to the basement at the moment. Oh, coffee! That's right. I need to make coffee. Coffee pot first. Who's got my coffee pot? You? Who puts their coffee pot in the sink? You leave it in the. You leave it in the. Uh, even the coffee maker like a normal heathen. Where's my coffee? You got my coffee? No, those are snacks. You got my coffee? No. Where's my coffee? Hey, get over here. I believe the devs are still requesting keys for this, though, uh, Snor, if you're interested. I saw it on Keymailer still. Where's my coffee? Am I one of those hipsters who puts it in the freezer or refrigerator? No. Oh, there we go. Coffee should be ready soon. And 
Look at my legs, Niku. Aren't they sexy? I forgot to put some clothes in the wash down in the basement. Oh no! Down in the basement. Oh no, it's so dark and spooky. This is a big ass basement. This is a big ass house. This chick's got an arcade cabinet, Niku, and a pool table. Oh my god, and a ping pong table? Man, this lady is rich as fuck. I too need this. Get basket for the dirt. Oh, it's upstairs. God damn it. Yeah, the lighting is a little, the, the, you know, doesn't really light up the basement all that well. Well, I guess she spent her entire budget on the arcade cabinets, because those are pretty pricey. <clears throat> Couple grand a cabinet. And, uh, you should still check out that, uh, Killer Frequency game there, Niku. Oh, the rage was so real. So... real. I was so angry. I was screaming, fuck, quite a bit. Maybe, okay, maybe it's somewhere else. I don't know. I don't see it. Maybe it isn't up here. I'd go back and clip it, but I'm actually a little embarrassed at how angry I got. I don't like getting super angry in the stream. I was, uh... <clears throat> there's that one bit towards the end of the game where there's a metric fuck ton of enemies. Uh in this obnoxious space, and they're all coming out of the goddamn woodwork, and of course you like... you have barely any goddamn ammo, because the game is badly balanced and everything like that. Um... And midway through, or maybe it's closer towards the end, after you deal with a few of them, this asshole big boy comes out. And this is... yeah, this is also on New Game Plus, so it's like, the weapons are big, like, doing a lot of damage. Oh, there we go. Uh, or doing more damage, but, like, I don't have the ammo to use the weapons. Also, I'm curious if, if... Because, again, there's no infinite ammo. Oh, no. What the hell? I'm curious if, uh... Oh. That was the front doorbell. Yo. Yeah, Who would be here at this hour and in this storm? Oh, no. I'm curious if you get more rockets on each subsequent New Game Plus run. Because otherwise, it's like, you're going to eventually run out of rockets in your rocket launcher. Because I know I didn't see a single rocket drop throughout my entire playthrough. <clears throat> um, so yeah, it was, it was, uh, this, this big boy enemy comes out <clears throat> with a rocket launcher of his own. He's firing at you. And the minute you get close to him, he drops the rocket and pulls out a chainsaw and starts chasing you around the entire goddamn environment with the chainsaw. And the amount of times I died to his bullshit, there's one instance where I 100% kited him, and he missed me. But the game just goes, lol, fuck you, he hit you anyway, and it's instant death. And then I pull out my rocket launcher, and I'm like, okay. It's just a chainsaw enemy. If this is Resident Evil, he'll die in one hit. That's what rockets do. They kill everything in one hit. It's the basis of a rocket launcher. He took two rockets. And also, the first time I pulled out the rocket launcher, I accidentally shot the floor and exploded myself. It was great. When did this envelope get here? <gasps> Spooky envelope. To Stacy. Surprise! 
A floppy disk? Where did this come from? There's no one at the door. I was very angry and constantly screaming, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I was very, very, very angry. It was very upsetting. I hate that game so much. I hate... I think the last time I played it, I intentionally played it on easy. And in hindsight, and it was easy New Game Plus. And in hindsight, I, uh, I should have played this playthrough on, new, on easy as well. Suffer the Nights. It's a game within a game, Niku. Your nightmare is just beginning. The twisted pendulum of fate now swings. You awaken on a cold, wet stone. The air is moist. A sickly sweet odor fills your nostrils. It's dark. You can barely make out your surroundings. A list of commands. Press 1. Get up. You slowly rise to your feet as you do a sharp sting as fell throughout. Your skull and your vision blurs, then refocuses. You are in some sort of cavern or cave. There doesn't seem to be any way forward other than a tiny gap between two enormous rocks. It is just wide enough to crawl through. Nothing was found. No items in inventory. You emerge from the crawl space into a large cave. It's almost pitch black, with the exception of a single light shining down from a cliff face. You notice a stepladder carved into the stone of the cliff face. Nothing was found. You reach the top. An old metal torch hangs from the wall. Its flame flickers and sways as a breeze blows from the, down the path. The undeniable smell of rot grows stronger. Oh. <clears throat> you enter a large mausoleum, its chambers empty, except surrounded by fresh wax candles, a singly a single dimly lit coffin sits at the center of the room. The pungent odor seems to be at its strongest here. To your right, there is a large wooden double door. You open the coffin lid and are immediately overcome with nausea from the grotesque stench. Inside is the corpse of a man. His face and chest have been eaten down to the bone by maggots. While searching the coffin and body, you notice an old key in one of his hands. Disgusted, peeling back each finger from his rigor mortis induced hand, you take the key. A key was added to your inventory. Two torches light the large wooden door that blocks your way. You try to open it, but it is locked. A key is required. You use the key to open the door. The path leads to the right. Turn the... Who's turning on my TV? A radio. Hey, you, you, you stop that. No, you can stay on. Who's, who's fucking with my shit, huh? Who's fucking with my shit? Who? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Is it you, Jay? Are you messing with my shit? Is you rent man? Trying to play a spooky game inside of a video game? You turn the corner into another long hallway. Torches light the way along the narrow path just as you investigate the surroundings. A gut-wrenching scream echoes off the walls towards you. Oh no. Nothing was found. Continuing down the path, you come across a small sepulcher. Sepulcher. Housed inside are two small coffins. They have been nailed and fastened shut. 
Cobwebs and candles litter the surrounding area. A small clay urn sits in the corner next to one of the coffins. <gasps> you check inside the urn, expecting to find ash, but instead the light catches a glimmer of something shiny reflecting back. You reach in and find an antique lighter. A small inscription has been scratched off. Perhaps a family heirloom? You apply pressure to the spark wheel, which strikes the flint and ignites the old wick. Surprisingly, it still works. A lighter was added to your inventory. You attempt to proceed, but the path ahead is obscured by darkness! Oh no! What the hell was that? It sounded like an explosion. Oh, the power just went out. No, oh, no, I can't finish the game with the power out. I gotta pay my electric bill. It looks like the transformer blew. Lightning must have struck it. I need to turn on the backup generator in the basement and reset the fuse box. I'm dead, I'm dying. Hello, I'm dead, I'm dying. Backup generator, it's a hero. It takes pollution down to zero. It's a really spacious house, though, with like no furniture. So it checks out. Then again, since this is the 80s, this house probably cost like five bucks. If this took place in modern day, this house would probably cost uh, 87 million dollars. That's my guess. Damn, I forgot to refuel the generator the last time I cleaned it. There is some fuel out back in the boathouse. I should grab a flashlight from the garage before heading outside. No! Where's the key to the garage, though? I don't remember. I think I left the key to the garage in the bathroom last time I took a shower. Hey, thanks for telling me. I'm assuming the bathroom's up here. Maybe we could poop? It is a little dark. Can I check up the brightness a bit? Does not look like it. No! Oh well. Indie horror game sure love not letting you adjust the brightness. Open up. Can you stop that? Shit! A fuse must have blown. That light bulb is toast. Cal... Calworth... Callington Steel... Calnificent... Calronimo Rex... Calculus... Mm. No. I should head to the boathouse out no. back. There should be some no. fuel I can use for the generator there. No. Do I go back this way? Maybe, yeah. Mm. Oh my god, it's Cusif. Use of Q star. Wait a minute. No. I'm not going that way. Fucking amnesia mechanics.
Uh, everybody follow Q, obviously. Uh, it doesn't matter if she says that she's not streaming. She's actually planning on streaming everything, eventually. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Uh, and make sure to subscribe to her as well. And share videos and tip. Like, make sure they're tier 3 subs. You ain't gonna do a goddamn thing. Uh, nope. Not true. Don't lie to me. It's empty. I need to oh, refill no, it. Oh no, it's empty. There is a fuel pump inside the boathouse. Yeah. Now I can refuel the backup generator. I should head back to the basement. Yeah, backup generator. You said she was going to come back and stream every single horror game ever made. Because she's the mayor of spooky games and she wants to speedrun all of them. Because, you know, she's the mayor of AGDQ. Oh, it's the other way. Because, uh, you know, it's not too spooky yet. It's just a storm. And, like, there was our doorbell rang. And, like, uh, a mysterious envelope came through the door. It came with a floppy disk for a spooky horror game called Suffer the Night, which is coincidentally the game that we're playing. It's a game within a game queue. I'm not lying. Now I need to reset the circuit breaker, and that should restore the power. The power you're should be working now. You're the mayor of AGDQ. I should head upstairs and call in the busted transformer. There you are. I think there was an audio bug where I could still hear storm stuff. It's true, cues the mayor. The president of AGDQ is what she she calls herself. What? There's no signal. The line is dead. Did the storm knock out the phone lines as well? Oh, who could that the be doorbell at this hour? Again. What the hell is going on here? Is someone playing a trick on me? Hey Q, who do you think it is? I'm sure it's a friendly guy. A friendly lad. Oh, hi. Hello? Who's there? Hello, young lady. My vehicle broke down on the road a ways back. May I perhaps come inside and use your phone? What are you doing all the way out here? Are you the one who put the floppy disk through my mail slot? Floppy disk? I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Nice. Enjoy your Taco Bell. You didn't answer my first question. What are you doing all the way out here? I gotta wait till next week for Taco Bell. Well, you see, I have family up north. It seems yours is the only house I could find off the road. Well, I'm sorry, but the phone lines seem to be down in my area because of the storm. Oh, really? The phone lines are dead, you say? Well, perhaps I can come in to dry off and get out of this storm? <laughs> I'm not in the business of letting strangers into my home. I'm sorry, but you can't come in. Niku, would you let this man into your home? He seems friendly enough. I and mean, look at him, he's kind of even smiling right now. Very well, Stacy. I'll find my own way in. <laughs> uh -oh. Hey. Hey, you stop that. Hey. 
Hey, you stop that. I heard Niku could do this. What the hell is going on? How did that creep know my name? I think more importantly, uh, how did he, uh, you know... What is, what, what is the objective button? Q. Oh! Q for AGDQ, like Q. Into the button. Q, everybody knows that people can climb the house, especially you. I heard Q can climb houses. Hello? Is anyone there? I need help. Hello, Stacy. You sick fuck, why are you doing this? I want you to finish my game, Stacy. I'll make you a deal. If you finish the game, I might just leave you alone. Oh, that's true. Q, Q does shoot raccoons for a living. I'm not playing your stupid game, you bastard. I'm warning you. Leave me alone. I, I have a gun. I know you're lying, Stacy. Now finish the game, or I'll come in there and skin you alive. Oh, okay. Using the lighter, a large stairway is illuminated in front of you. You try to make out what's at the top, but it's too dark. I mean, it could be either. Nothing was found. Using the lighter, you reach the top of the stairway. The light is dim, but you can make out that the path continues to the right. You enter a spacious room with a large, round, wooden table at its center. On the table sits a small lockbox. Chains surround the box and feed into a skull. Its locking mechanism is located in the mouth of the skull. The room splits into two paths, one blocked by a large iron cage. The other open. Nothing was found. You approach the path on the right. In front of you is another set of double doors. This one suspiciously has one door half open. The room ahead is hidden from your sight. Hey, are you behind me? No, okay. Uh, Castlevania? Uh, Dominus Collection? I don't know, I didn't really watch or pay attention to the direct. I was sleeping. And then I woke up and somebody was like, Hey, Castlevania! I was like, oh, cool. You attempt to proceed, but the path ahead is obscured by darkness! Hey! Hey, who's causing a ruckus, huh? Who's, who's, who's skedaddling? It's like 8 in the morning. I'm like, I'm not getting up for that shit. Who's messing with my house? Using the lighter, you illuminate the hallway. It stretches into darkness. The air is stale. Clay urns are scattered all over the floor. You knock one over as you walk, and ash is kicked up into the air. Your nostrils and mouth are filled with are filled as you breathe it in, causing you to cough. Nothing was found. Hey, your game's busted. Hey. Hey, stop playing sex noises on the radio. Hey, you get down from there. You get the fuck down from there, all right? I'm trying to play your fucking game and you're just playing sex noises on the radio. Counting down the dark hall, or continuing down the dark hallway, you stumble across a monstrous sight. The corpse of a man hangs from the wall, a shackle to some kind of Dracula. The machine has rotating gears that have ground the lower half of his body into pulp. 
The sight of it makes your blood run cold. Something protrudes from the man's abdomen, but it is lodged too deeply to make out. The hallway continues straight. You reach into the corpse's abdomen and... Are you telling me there's some kind of... Dracula? And up through to its chest cavity. As you do, bits of flesh and organs fall from the corpse and splatter onto the ground. Suppressing the urge to vomit, you finally grasp the object firmly and pull it out. It's a strange key made of bone on top. On the top, a skull has been carved. Skull key was <laughs> added to your inventory, causing James to cough. I'm looking behind you. What do you want? Huh? Huh? What do you want? What do you want? Huh? You're not scaring me. Uh, it's, it reached the end of the hallway. Find a large window. Iron bars cover the windows, allowing no escape. You peer out, hoping to find some signs of life, but see nothing except for the moon. A gibbet cage is off to your left. Behind it, the path continues. After turning the corner, you come to a dead end. An enormous brazier sits between two pillars. Two metal rings rise from the top, with wax candles attached all around. A gust blows past you, but its source is not apparent. Hey, are you back there? Are you jerking it? Oh, all right. Hey. Stop jerking it back there. When you spec the brassiere, you see that it has a crawl space concealed behind it. You drag the brassiere while straining under its weight till it is out of the way. The crawl area appears to be narrow and dark, but spacious enough for you to fit in. Oh. It's the size of fitty men. You go into the confined passage. Its cramped walls give you a claustrophobic feeling. Ahead, you can see the exit. Hey! That was glass breaking. Did he get in? It sounded like it came from downstairs. Need to investigate the sound downstairs. Oh my god, salami? Any salami in chat? I'm also not a fan of salami, but salami is a really funny word to say. Especially in the context of uh, slipping somebody the salami. Gotta slip it and dip it. Hey! Turn that TV off. Oh no. This maniac is toying with me. I have to board up this window. There's a hammer and some wood planks in the garage. Oh no. Hey. Hey, open up. I didn't mean to close you. Hey, can you stop that? That's annoying. Get out of here. Stay safe. What do you want? Where's my hammer? Did you take my hammer, you fuck? Why does he gotta be so rude? Doesn't he know I'm human too? Any mom info in chat? Oh, that's true! Her mom does have it going on. Niku's mom has got it going on. I would board up all these windows if I had enough planks. I can only hope that he won't break in if I keep playing his game. <clears throat> uh, 
You exit the crawl space and enter a chamber. A small table is on is to your right. On it, there are tiny candles and what looks like human bones. To your left is a small flight of stairs leading up to a gated room. The entryway is wide open. Search the room and approach the table. You spot some rope amidst the clutter. It might be handy, so you decide to take it. Excuse me. A flat wooden bed is located inside the gated room. Chain links and iron cuffs hang from the wall. The foul smell of raw sewage is coming from a hole in the ground off to the left. Uh, yeah. Secure the rope to the wooden bed with a bowline knot. If you want to, you can now descend the sewer drain. However, the smell is very uninviting. All right, we're going in the smelly hole. You lower the rope until you're at the drain's base. When you jump to the ground, you splash into a layer of viscous sewage. Any viscous sewage in chat? You suddenly retch, start to heave, and ultimately throw up. You collect your composure and glance around, noticing a path in front of you. Oh, I wanted to look into the poop water. Hey. Oh. A small guy. Look, he's he was on the computer, like watching me play his little game. What a cutie. Niku, is this what you do when you go over to Mama's house and watch her game? You stand on her computer. Sloshing through the sewage, you reach a corner. The path continues to your left. Nothing was found. You enter a circular room. There's a stairway leading up. You spot a body. Q, you get back here. You spot a body floating in the sewage that is covered in black robes. It drifts up and down, its face only partially visible. It appears fixated on you with its bright yellow eye. Oh, God. Approaching the corpse with caution. You push to roll it over, and as you do it, springs to life with a blood-curdling shriek, charges at you, slashing with claw-like fingernails. You evade the initial strikes, but then feel the intense burn of flesh being sliced open. It scurries back before vanishing up the steps. Seduce the zombie, Cal. Hey! What do you want? Can you stop farting, bro? My flashlight is not working. Oh, good. Bro, do you want me to beat your game or not, huh? Yeah, hey, how's it going? Hey! Sign the book. The bastard tore straight through the wall and dresser while I was downstairs. Whatever it is, it's not human. Cal, can you quote that role to seduce the zombie? A swell guy. Well, now we have a new window. <coughs> you begin to ascend the stairs as you move. Blood begins to ooze from the wound that thing gave you. Torches light the stairway, but the top is pitch black starring Vin Diesel. Reach the top of the stairway. The path ahead is obscured by darkness. The lighter illuminates your surroundings. Startled, you step back as you are confronted by a wall of bones. Cal, you love walls of bones. You seem to be in a catacomb. You can see the trail continues to your left behind some cobwebs. Nothing was found. 
You round the corner into a vast room, four pillars enclose an enormous wall, which can be reached by a short flight of stairs. The water in the well has a repulsive odor. The roof has a hole through which moonlight shines. A narrow passage is off to the left. You reach the guardrail. Excuse me. As you get closer to the well, you examine the water. You notice a spherical object that is glowing with hues of yellow and red. It nearly seems to be begging you to remove it from the slimy water. As you begin to experience an unnatural yearning to grab it. Oh no! Oh, actually, I just remembered something real quick. I want to send something to Niku. Niku, this is very important, actually. Uh, you, you, you'll probably get a kick out of it. It's for PC, and it's on Keymailer. But yeah. There you go. Hopefully that helps. You reach for the strange orb. Just as you do, the robed creature emerges from the depths, its face twisted into a hideous grimace. It begins to raise its arms with the orb in hand, almost as if it was making an offering. Fixated on the orb, you are unable to stop yourself from snatching it. The creature slowly sinks back into the abyss. No, I already sent him Hoonie Pop. I bought him Hoonie Pop a while ago. He can't stream it, though, unless he does it through Discord. Which is too crude. Skulls and bones carefully placed in a macabre pattern litter the small passage. At the very end, a brazier sits, its flame lit like a beacon. Cal, you love braziers. You also love brazers, too, because you're loot. Hey! Oh, what do you want now? Bro, why are you sitting there jerking it, huh? Oh, he got rid of his teddy. He, he replaced my teddy bear there for a minute. Hey, you God, suckers. I think I'm losing my mind. Dead end is reached. A pair of skeletons clad in black robes are lit by two braziers. From the earth, a golden statue of a hand rises, its fingers positioned as if it were holding something, yet it is empty. Nothing is found. You place the strange orb in the golden hand. When you do, it sinks slightly into the ground. A rumbling begins and intensifies. It basically is. A large, round stone slab begins to rise. For a brief moment, dust and debris fills the air, making it difficult to see. When it settles, you notice a new passage has been revealed. Traveling deeper into the catacombs, you approach two pyramid-shaped monuments. Those are just pyramid head ladies' titties. Uh, all the way up, there are ornamented, uh... Ornamented, they, they are ornamented with rows of skulls and bones. Lone statue further back is followed by two more morbid monuments. Cal loves morbid monuments. You, oh, what do you want now? Hey! Hey, you stop that. Get down from there. I gotta fucking teach you a lesson. Give me that jacket. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Yeah, 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 yeah. Morbid monuments is what they call my genitalia. Uh, you arrive before a golden statue of a person wearing robes and holding an oval basin. The chamber is lit by a massive chandelier constructed of numerous bones. 
You examine the gleaming statue. The basin has writing engraved into it. It reads, Blood is the bond, the blade is the key. An offering must be made. Are you rolling to seduce the statue? I'll allow it. Spiral staircase is found. When you turn the corner, the steps are lit by light from above. Right and left graves have been dug into the walls. Skulls and bones cover the wall behind the stairs. I think it's a statue. It's either a statue or a skeleton, or maybe a skeleton statue. Unless you're talking about Mr. Tops, you can seduce him too. Hey, thanks. Uh, Niku, did you did you check the Discord that I sent you? Did it work? It was a sneeze this time. You climb the stairs and arrive at the top. Searching your surroundings, you see a large passage to your right. To your left, large candelabra made of bones. I want a boner candelabra. I mean, no, bo a candelabra made of bones? A balcony looking down on the golden statue is directly ahead. Oh, good. Nothing is fine. Just wanted to make sure that you, you, you request it. You approach the passage and see that it is blocked by an iron gate. A wooden counterweight lever is mounted on the wall next to the gate. Begin rotating the counterweight lever. The gate begins to rise. You continue until the passage is open. Cal, have a good night. Nothing. What do you want? Yeah. What are you doing? Can you stop that? You're a, you're a wily one, Mr. Tops. At the end of the passage, you find a set of double doors. Light shines through the gasp. The gaps of the door. You press against them and notice they are unlocked. Nothing was found. What was the spooky game? Uh, you push the doors open and find yourself in familiar surroundings. A large fire pit lights the room. And you can see that you are back in the room with the skull chest. However, you are on the opposite side now. INSIDE THE IRON CAGE! Nothing is found. You remember the name? The gate of the iron cage is now unlocked. And you approach the skull chest. The doors on the right are still locked and won't budge. It would seem you have reached a dead end. Nothing is found. Turn the strange key after inserting it inside the skull's mouth. The chest is unlocked with a mechanical click. Udian? I streamed some of it? Do you remember the name? There's, I've streamed a lot of spooky games. Like, you know, Battle and Wonderworld. You discover a blade inside. You can see that it is covered in weird writing and symbols as it shimmers in the light. You feel yourself falling into a trance as you inspect it. It's absolutely beautiful. Strange dagger was added to your inventory. You cut a gash in the palm of your left hand. It's a peculiar blade. Can you cut it out? Squeezing the open wound, you extend your hand over the basin. Something along those lines. The basin starts to accumulate blood. As it does, the sound of gears turning can be heard, but it's unclear where it's coming from. 
Search the area and try to locate the source of the sound. You notice a narrow path has appeared where the grave once stood. You force your way through and notice a staircase in the distance. As you get closer to the steps, you notice they are carved from fine marble. You hear the gears spinning once more. The gravestone reappears, blocking the way. Climbing the steps, you enter a dark room. Dozens of lit candles are scattered all across the floor. Their light reflects off marbled floors and polished granite pillars. Chill suddenly shoots down your spine as the space is unsettlingly quiet. Moving further into the room, you find yourself at its center. You can see a table and some dark shapes in the distance. You try to use the lighter you found, but the fuel is spent. Your heart begins to race, and you begin to experience an increasing sense of dread. You behind me jerking it? No. All right. You walk up to the table. A few candles and a solitary book with a quill are placed on top of it. A figure in a black suit and top hat is seated behind the gate. Its hands appear to be fitted with the gloves. With gloves that have knives attached to each finger. Its head is leaning sideways on the table, and its face is expressionless. Skeletons dressed in robes, in, in, in robes in various poses surround the figure. <clears throat> you are the salami. You examine the book. Its cover features an odd symbol and is bound in leather. Stunning teal feather is used to make the quill. It beads into a nib, the complex engraving. The figure in the chair remains motionless. The leather... What's up, Tops? The leather strap... The leather strap holding the book closed is released. The book flips open, and you hear a jarring crack of bones as the figure slowly rises. You freeze in horror as its stare comes face to face with yours. It starts to talk in a sinister voice. You finally arrived. It continues. You have completed all the trials. The key was taken, the orb given, the blood offered, the game is nearly finished. <clears throat> the figure indicates the book while stating, there's only one thing left. When you put your name in the book, the game is over. You only need a quick signature to be set free, Stacy Lidden. Please sign and declare the game is over. You examine the contents of the pages. On the left page is a symbol of a crescent moon, along with a dagger. Other symbols in text in a language you don't comprehend are also present. There is a lengthy list of names on the right page. Each name is written with unique handwriting. Take the quill and write the name Stacy Lidden. Hey, you stop that. What the hell? That looks like my house. That sounded like it came from the attic. I think that freak's inside. Oh no. Peter's bro broken. Hey. hey where's my attic? You up there? Who's gonna pay for that broken glass, huh? Is it you? I think I see him over there. Look at him. What a small guy. Yeah, we see something. Oh, it's it's a painting of him. What a cute guy. Hmm. 
Niku, he left us a he left us a gift. Stacy. Hey! You get down from there. <laughs> Flashlight's not working. He's really partful. Partful. Thoughtful. I read thoughtful and then saw Gino write part man, part cockroach, and came up with partful. Oh no! Oh. Hey, hey, you stop that! You cut this out this instant! Stop choking me! The game is finished. Fear not, Stacy. Can we get a shout out for Talon, please? Just Thank begun. you, Niku. Oh, good. You now the real suffer the night starts here. We'll create a new game together. The real suffer the night. Mm, my head, it's pounding. Where am I? How did I get here? Oh my god. Where are we? What is this? What the? Game somehow alt tabbed out. It's weird. What the hell is this place? Game saved. All right. Uh, since we're about an hour in. Uh, and we just hit the first save point, and we're actually in the real game now. Because that entire thing is just the, 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 the prologue, baby. There's an actual, like, game with mechanics after after a super lengthy text adventure thing. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to BRB, and I'll be back in a few minutes. And then we'll get to, back to more Suffer the Night. Bleh, bleh, my fan is breaking, bleh. You're the, you're the bigger goat. You're the, uh, you're the goaf. Greatest of forever. What do you have to say about that, Niku? Uh, sometimes. Hold on. Bleh. Play, play. I am some kind of Dracula. Play. What that smell? It's oh. disgusting. Don't worry about it. Oh my God! It's a spooky Jesus. body. I think I'm gonna be sick. Use the scanner to interact with hidden objects and pathways. Objects that are hidden will be outlined in purple. Equip the scanner by pressing spacebar or scroll wheel. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Error inside object. So that, that text adventure game that we were reading, we're inside of it now. We're inside the game within the game, chat. Exit the scanner's search mode and enter read mode to read and listen to floppy disks. While the scanner is equipped, press E to exit the search mode. Eat a book, book one. I've been dragged into this game. 
If you die here, your soul is doomed to decay inside these discs. Our bodies are taken and used in bizarre and morbid ways. One of the few items that can help is a strange machine. It brings back the things he took away. Things that could help. I'm not sure who made it or how. But it doesn't appear like he has control over it. Oh. Anything to scan over yonder? Back where we came from? No, it doesn't look like it. Snore loves his broken fans. It's still probably one of my favorite stupid jokes that Snore's come up with. Niku's come up with. And the moment we all realized it was one of the funniest things ever. Oh, sorry guys, my fan broke. Son of a bitch, you lied to me. I finished your game. You said you would leave me alone. Oh, Stacy. The devil's in the details. I said I would leave you alone if you finish my game. But I didn't say which game. <laughs> oh, no! You signed the book. You belong to me now. What sweet suffering I have in store for you. You bastard! Tell me how to get out of here now! You want to leave? <laughs> I don't think so. Goodbye for now. You son of a bitch! You tricked me! I'll trick you back! The fool! Oh my god, it's just like Persona, Snore. Also, I'm a fool. It's too dark to see. I should find some kind of Dracula before I continue. Oh my god. I'm complete in my four limbs. Two arms look within for strength. Two legs extend outward, forcing me forward. Only then will you be blessed by my hand. Oh, oh it's not. I guess whatever. It's fine. Hey. Hey, what are you? This game also has combat, too. We haven't gotten it yet, but still. Just want to point that out, because it's not just a walking sim horror. <sighs> cursed Disc! Snore, you love Cursed Discs. That's why they call you Cursed Disc Snore. Oh, shit. Each version of his game begins similarly, but diverges greatly. Your rendition of his game tells the tale of his most recent victim. I discovered hints that the next iteration of the game was being written using my story. So many victims. So many stories. 
How many versions of the game came before me? Oh. 20? No, two. Had to, has to be two, right? No, yours is the first. Maybe. Oh. Uh -huh. Hey, who co who coomed on this wall? Looks like something fits here. Sculpture of a wolf. Its head is missing. Any missing heads in chat? Oh no! Oh. Oh shit! That was a close one. Uh huh. Oh no! Oh. Are you telling me there's some kind of Niku Nikula? <sighs> Oh, yeah. Crawl into the creepy hole. God, what are you doing, Stacy? Surviving. Oh, who's squelching? Who's squelch? Hey, you stop that. You cut that out. Error inside the object. <clears throat> Give me that crowbar. Yeah! Look at me, Niku! I can beat enemies to death now! Niku, I hope you're proud of me. You're my idol, dude. I'm serious, actually. You're like one of my biggest influences for wanting to stream more and trying to improve my channel and all that fun stuff. Disgusting. Give me that. Was that thing eating that corpse? Uh huh. I think Nico wants to sleep. Snore, I miss you, man. Ah. Your descent into depravity is just beginning, Stacy. Uh huh. The various remains of previous victims are all around you. Down here, nothing goes to waste. How much flesh will you obliterate in your quest for freedom? All of it. All of it. Any flesh obliterators in chat? Fuck. <laughs> Kenneth Gray! The lucky ones just die. Some of the people trapped here have had their bodies twisted and mutilated. Their minds are fractured and corrupted. What's left is a hollowed out slave who's left to wander in this constantly shifting dungeon. To create new thralls, they seek fresh meat and new prey. Resembles a sizable shredder for shredding wood. Give me all them body parts, yo. I use the body parts. Niku! He didn't leave. Ah! 
I, I thought you like had to go to go to sleep or something. Oh, it's all good, baby. I was just saying how uh, you're my idol and shit, and how you're one of my biggest influences for streaming and trying to improve my channel. Sizable shredder. Oh, I think we need a little more. Yeah, man. You're the best, Niku. Give me that shit! Give me that. <gasps> Magician. Got a bunch of boners. I don't see any more body parts. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Booty, 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 rocking everywhere. Booty, 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 like you just don't care. The booty. <gasps> oh. <gasps> developer dick! Niku loves developer. Fuck. Niku loves developer dick. Today, I embark on my game development journey. I decided to take the plunge and develop a game. Hey, congrats to your I'm your still buddy. figuring out the scope of the game, but I know I want to have advanced artificial intelligence. I've really enjoyed playing dungeon crawler games lately. Maybe I can mix that in. Oh my god. Oh no! Spikies. It's like a box that controls this trap. It's missing its lever. Allegedly. Hey! Hey, you son of a bitch! What do you think you're doing, huh? What do you think you're doing, huh? Shouldn't get too close. Farewell, fuck boy. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, moose baby. Thank you for the moose baby. Oh, I thought I was going to like come down on him. Oh, no, it did. Niku, you love Moose Baby. Moose Baby, Moose Baby, give me your hand. Moose Baby, Moose Baby. Go to Japan. I got to work on my dungeon crawler's design. It should be enormous and dynamic. Unfortunately, I won't be able to fully develop the universe I want to due to the current constraints of storage media like floppy disks. My artificial intelligence is the same. Simply said, the technology isn't ready yet. There must be another method for me to achieve my goal. Uh, I don't think I've heard of Kappa Mikey. Is it about a turtle named Mikey? That's what a cap is, right? It's a turtle? I think. Ooh, that's a good link emote. That 
freak with the knives for fingers has set up all kinds of puzzles down here just to toy with us. He gives us just enough hope to carry on. I've tried to preserve, but I'm getting weaker and weaker. I don't want to end up like one of these creatures down here. There's got to be a way back to the real world, damn it! Oh no! Anyway. Hey! Well, well, well. I am impressed that you're still alive, Stacy. Yeah, well, I ain't gonna die down here, you bastard. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> now that's the spirit. I love the ones that put up a fight. It makes their suffering so much more delightful. Hey! I won't give up hope. I refuse to end up like the rest down here. Yeah. Good, Stacy. Good. Speaking of hope, you've come this far. Perhaps a gift is in order. A weapon to help you along your way. Although, nothing is free down here. If you can solve my little puzzle, <gasps> a weapon is yours. A little puzzle, huh? It's a gun. I hope it's not Chris's gun. Yeah, give me that gun. You got six bullets and a dream. It's so there are a lot of good emotes. And a lot of them are yours, Niku. No, no, you. You're the goat. Ow! Hey! Get away from me! Hey! No! Hey! Hey! Get off me! Get away from me! Hey! I'm not using my gun! Oh, fuck, we died. <laughs> you are dead. I guess I should use the. The gun. Uh, the gun. Pick up the gun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah.
Yeah, fuck you! Smelly old fucking spam bot. Best viewers on! Best viewers in getting banned, goddammit, you piece of shit. You rat bastard. Alright, I gotta fucking do this shit. I'm upsetty. I'm upsetty spaghetti, it's fine. Fucking got him. You son of a bitch! I'll go back and save because I don't want to solve that. Oh my god! I don't want to do that ever again. Fucking got him! Did it! The hermit! I'm a hermit! Snore, are you a hermit? Hermit the frog here. <gasps> I knew it. Same. And occasionally the good eats. Gimme, 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 gimme! It's more dank lore! Snore loves dank lore. That's why they call him dank lore snore. That and because it rhymes. This place is riddled with traps. I was almost sliced in half by one of them. All these traps have hidden switches that deactivate them. Use this device to reveal them. This device I have found. Seems to be something that was created to help us. Oh. Perhaps save us. I found more discs. Seems to indicate that the maker of this device is the game's original creator. Oh my god. Perhaps as a result, the monster has no control over it. Oh good. The dankest snore lore. Only on twitch.tv slash Niku Senpai. Hey! Hey, you stop that. That's scary. Fucker. Oh, Jesus. Ah, no! I don't want by already. <laughs> Fuck. You gotta get that floppy disk in case there's like an achievement or or it impacts the ending or whatever. I'm glad that there's still indie horror games that come out that actually have mechanics. And aren't just like walking jump scare simulators. 
There's like a lot of horror games on Key Mailer. I scroll through them. And there were times where I'd kind of like request a lot of stuff. And I still do from time to time where I'm like, ooh, horror. But I kind of regret doing so. Because a lot of it is, um. Not, not really up my alley. And I feel bad getting a key and, and not finishing something because I, I don't like it. Oh, I forgot to get the hermit card. God damn it. Yeah, I, there there was a period where I used to, because, like, I wanted to, like, up my key mailer rating, but... Some of the games I got were, were not very good. They were just shit I got on a whim. But to counter that... I did randomly request stuff for the night without any doing any research on it, and I like it. Same thing with Killing Frequency. So sometimes, taking a random shot in the dark on a random horror game is the way to go. Fuck. I've been sequestered for months in an effort to decrease the size of my game. I was making a little progress, so I began searching for an alternative programming language. I dug and dug and found an obscure, esoteric language called Leviathan. About it? Not much is known, but from what I understand, its inventor, Dante Lamento, said its potential was endless. The only issue is that Dante disappeared without a trace not long after publishing the language. Oh no! Wait a minute, did I finish listening to it? Fuck. I didn't mean to do that. I've been sequestered for months so, in an effort to decrease for the size of my game. I was making a little progress, so I began searching for an alternative programming language. I dug and dug and found an obscure, esoteric language called Leviathan. Also, when I heard Leviathan, About I got really it, excited the first not time much I heard is it. Known, I was but from what excited. I understand, its inventor, Dante Lamento, said its potential was endless. I don't know if Dante Lamento's The only issue then. is that Dante disappeared without a trace not long after publishing the language. Oh, no, it was done. Okay. Leviathan, I think, might be a reference to Hellraiser. But I don't know. I mean, there is the Lament configuration, so maybe Dante Lamento is kind of like that. I don't know. I don't know. What that do? God, now I want Taco Bell. I don't see anything. Eh? Fuck you, Spicey! Hey, get away from me. Keep viewers on your fucking band, my guy. Hey, get away from me. Mm. Northwest and southeast. 
So assuming top is north. Oh, wait a minute. Is that the N? Is that an N? Or no? No, I don't think so. Okay, so northwest, southeast. Northwest. Fuck. I'm stupid. <laughs> I always get east and east and west confused. Cause I'm a big fucking dumbass. Southwest, northeast. Northeast. Gimme, 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 gimme! I'm gonna fucking backtrack just to be on the safe side to save. I don't wanna die! I'm gonna lose progress, goddammit. Tuesday? Yeah, I think so. I don't see any ping. That's out of that. Anything better to do than annoy me? How feisty! You know that device you found won't save you. I may not be able to stop you from using it. But I'm just getting started. Everything up until this point was just a taste of what I have in store for you, Stacy. Uh huh. Go to hell, you freak. Yeah. Yeah, you, 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 you fuck ass. You just gotta be firm with these demons, alright? You just gotta call them a fuck ass. And, uh, that's the end of it. No, we went down there. I was hoping there's uh, a nearby save point. Hey there, demons. It's me. It's me. Your boy. Your boy. Rochi, thank you for the demons. How are the demons treating you today, Rochi? Rochi's mo. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're going into the statue's mouth. Let's go. Oh yeah. I love doing nothing. It's basically my life. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, I vaguely, 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 vaguely remember this level. Sculpture of an eagle, its wings are missing. Any wings in chat? Hey, what do you want? Please insert one token for admission onto the ride. 
like I need a token of some kind. Oh yeah, I forgot that Poppy Playtime 3 came out. I thought the first part was alright, and I fucking hated the second part. So I'm curious to see how I'd feel about the third part. Probably similar to how I felt about the second part, but... I don't know, I haven't really looked into it. Maybe one of these days. Hold on. You can carry something. He will manipulate your thoughts against you, so be careful. He will use elements from your reality in the game he creates. Oh no. He will use anything against you, be it an idea, a tangible thing, or something private to you. He gets more enjoyment from seeing you struggle. You must continue fighting. Don't let him win. Uh, anything else? No. Snore, how was your Taco Bell? Was it taco -y? Was it belly? Thank you. Enjoy the ride. Good. I'm jealous of your Taco Bell. A roller coaster? Is this your idea of fun, you psycho? The service may not be much, but the rides are to die for. Oh no. Chainsaw hands! Sawtooth, huh? Got shotgun ammo. I don't have a shotgun, though. I finally found a simple program written in Leviathan. When compiled, it prints out a message from Dante Lamento. For those who seek answers to questions unanswered, problems unsolved, and pleasures unknown, my gift to you, Leviathan, will give you your heart's desire. This application contains a complete library of syntax that may be used once I have access to the source code. Oh, good. I'm sure nothing went wrong. Ever. Snorky, snorkel, snore, snore, snorkel, snore, snore, snorkel. Some kind of key. <gasps> what about some kind of Dracula? Hey. <laughs> Ow.
Yeah, I guess it would have been better to find that first. <laughs> Vaguely remember this. Like I said, I've never beaten this game, but I did progress a bit into it. I don't remember how far I got. Hey! You stop that. Bad. Bad zombie, get out of here. I might turn off the saw blades, but if there's more zombies, I don't know if I want to do that. Can't turn them back on. Yeah, I regret turning them off. It's fine. Rochi, you love nerf ladders. That's why they call you Nerf Ladder Rochi. Wrong button. I feel a door has been opened to endless possibilities. Yeah, we're in the 80s, I have Rochi. successfully reverse engineered the Leviathan program's code after several weeks of labor. Although the actual code is straightforward, the framework is infinitely expandable. The original language is written in Old Latin, which took some time to figure out. Strangely enough, several of these functions nearly seem to have been written like an incantation or a spell. Of course, these are only tools that I can modify to suit my own requirements. Yeah, you love nerf ladders. Because it's nerf or nothing with Rochi. Showed you my, my five and a half inch floppy dick, please respond. Pink, blue, yellow, light blue, green. Red. Where's this pink? Okay, yeah, I think that's pink then. Pink, uh, darker blue, yellow, it's green, blue, yellow, light blue, green, yellow, 
light blue. Any light blue in chat? Saber, what does it even mean, dude? Don't worry about it. Alright. Maybe this is light blue? Yeah, okay. Yay, we did it. We saved the city. Is this just seeing? I think this is just seeing through a wall. Yeah. I thought that was the game there for a second. Thank you for the disappearing quack. Don't you hate it when your quack just disappears? Ah! Jesus. The wall there. Seru! Seru, baby. Seru, 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 Seru. Well, I'm just excited you're here. It's fun to say your name. Sun. All damage is reduced indefinitely. It's my type of floppy dick. Oh, is that not a log thing? I guess not. I feel a door has been opened to endless possibilities. I have successfully reversed yeah, engineered no, uh... the Leviathan program's code. Uh... After several weeks of labor, although the actual code is straightforward, the framework is infinitely expensive. Yeah, I guess not. The All original right. language is written in Old Latin, which took Those some time emotes? to figure out. I like them. Strangely enough, several of these functions nearly seem to have been written like an incantation or a spell. Of course, these are only tools that I can modify to suit my own requirements. There we go. The eye. The eye. I fought a machine that took the form of someone very personal to me. I was unable to harm it until I hit its eyes. Its eyes are its weak point. The problem is that it goes to great lengths to protect them. No! I had to devise a method of stunning them long enough for me to inflict harm. Try using its own traps to stun whatever creature you face. Roger! I'll just double check, see if we didn't miss anything. And then I'm gonna do a B or B. I don't see shit. All right, a B or B.